Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have quite a bit of cool news to go top with over here when it comes to Xbox, potential cool games coming to PlayStation, huge Xbox console fixes, one of the most annoying bugs also being fixed, and as well, some kind of cool stuff on the brand new Xbox conference. Quite a bit of Xbox news, so I think you'll sit back, relax, and enjoy it, because usually whenever I do like to whip out an Xbox video, I like to get a lot of really good topics all at once. So if you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy. As long as you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, we have the Twitter and Twitch room down below, and I believe also the Sam phone signups and all that good stuff are also linked down below. Let's go dive on into this video right now. So first and foremost, let's go talk about the big bug issue and let's go talk about some other various things too as well. So right now, Let's go. We got this. First and foremost, there is a brand new big change coming over here for the Xbox consoles. If you guys have missed this news or missed kind of this drama, there's been a lot of little small issues going on with the Xbox console as a per recent, where if you sometimes like have your cloud data saved or general console data saved, sometimes it would go absolutely just missing gone forever. Now, this wasn't like the biggest and most widespread issue, but when it came to Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate actually was like one of the bigger, like, I guess, components of it. We did hear about this happening to other different games and also to other different types of like just issues popping up with console saves when it comes to Xbox consoles or even also people on PC utilizing, say, Game Pass. This was like an ongoing issue, but it wasn't like a every game and every gamer that was affected, but it did pop up a lot. But like I mentioned, the kind of the bigger issues on Baldur's Gate 3, a lot of folks were seeing this, a lot of folks were complaining about it, a lot of people saves like 50, 100 plus hours into it were getting removed, and this did also, like I said, happen to other games. So right now, Microsoft actually is issuing a brand new fix to this too as well, fixing all these really annoying issues, where they have the Xbox former update to fix Baldur's Gate 3 save bug, the devs go and save, with a nice little quote of magic. Also, someone invited me to go play League of Legends on that one. If you guys have been playing the brand new League season, let me know. So Baldur's Gate 3 developer Laurian Studios has said Microsoft plans to release a firmware update to fix the pesky uh, save bug that has plagued the game's release on Xbox. In a tweet, Larian said that Microsoft had identified the cause of the save bug on Xbox and will issue a firmware update to go and fix it which is, I think, is actually all around nice. But I've also never really seen an individual game causing a full-on firmware update for the consoles themselves, saying users can then go update their console manually on January 16th or wait a week longer for the update to roll out globally. Larian added, although we haven't been able to independently verify this fix, we're optimistic that Microsoft have gotten to the bottom of it, and this basically seems like it's be a widespread fix for the entire Xbox ecosystem, and also mainly for anyone on the uh, Baldur's Gate side. Saying Lauren Boss Swain Vinci said had tweeted to say that Microsoft had found the firmware issue that caused save games to go missing, and that a fix was coming out. In the end, all will be well. Xbox players of Baldur's Gate 3 will be hoping this former update will mark the end of the game's troubles on the console, although, of course, Larian will continue to update the game across all platforms. Just this week, they also had, they're going to have a, like, a bunch of big uh, bug fixes and changes and all that type of stuff, too, as well. Although a lot of folks were critiquing the auto-upload uh, of captured content default and some people getting banned as well. We talked about that in a prior video, but all around, this is a huge bug fix and something that I'm very happy to get to go and see over here when it comes to Xbox. Now, when it comes to other various things, too, as well, when it comes to, say, uh, the big drama that's been ongoing these past few days, and this is in regards now to PlayStation potentially getting other brand new games, such as, like, say, Switch games, or also even, like, uh, PlayStation games, basically getting, oh, sorry, I really have the word of it kind of poorly. Basically, when it comes to all that type of stuff, them having the chance to get these games from Xbox, so PlayStation games having a chance to play games like, say, Halo, or have a chance to go and, like, you know, just play all various games. So basically, Sea of Thieves and also uh, Hi-Fi Rush were the two major games that may be moving over to other platforms. This is such as, um... I'm trying to get, like, the big picture. I'm just trying to explain it. It's, like, the idea that Xbox is willing to expand everywhere. They want to have Game Pass everywhere. They don't mind putting their games everywhere. It's a lost leader. They'll get into it. So even Halo right now is potentially going to be coming to PlayStation. This rumor has been kind of popping up a lot more, mainly due to the player base being a lot smaller on, say, Steam. It's already only at, like, around 7,000 people playing, and this is literally Halo. And as well, even on Xbox and Microsoft as well, I'm sure it'll be doing okay. But at the same time, the numbers aren't insane. 
And if you're also having a game that can be potentially crossplay, why would you not want to have Halo on PlayStation? That headline, that YouTube video as a whole would be a very, very big pro uh, big thing because right now, don't forget, Bungie is owned by PlayStation. So if Halo goes back to its roots of someone even being correspondent with or working with Bungie or even the same you know branch of that, that's some kind of big gaming news. It's always been Halo, Xbox, PlayStation, everything else. So right now, people are maybe even assuming that Halo might be coming to other consoles. Uh, so Halo on PlayStation is no longer on Thinkable on this brand new Xbox era. Once again, though, this is like speculation and thoughts, saying Microsoft has been pretty clear about their ambitions for the Xbox brand in the last few years, and it's that's the desire to expand beyond the literal Xbox itself. Their mantra has been that they want people to play Xbox games on as many platforms as possible, and that may even include their competition if they would let them. There has been legal documentation that has the PlayStation offered to have Game Pass. Like, they literally, Xbox offered to put Game Pass on PlayStation. They obviously said no because that would just kind of be marketing and giving free promotion or even have, you have to have like subscription plans. I'm sure Xbox gets a better deal. Whatever it might be, they basically did offer and PlayStation said no. Same thing as well with crossplay. Not hitting on PlayStation. I like PlayStation, but there's been a lot of crossplay drama where at some point they have said no. They basically do not want to have, like, say, Rock League, Fortnite, Call of Duty to have crossplay. Now, that might actually go and change now with Activision being bought by Xbox, and that actually might be a really cool proper change where you could maybe have that be a stipulation. You could have PlayStation and Xbox user bases all put together to go and play, say, Call of Duty. Because at the end of the day, Xbox will make the final call, and if they want to have a good contract with PlayStation, PlayStation may have to follow that, which would be very intriguing to go and see, because crossplay is usually a lot more laid back. And as well, with so many people talking about, say, Hi Fi Rush or Sea of Thieves, some people might be speculating even more games, such as like Gears of War or Fable, or even things such as like, say, Halo, as we mentioned too, as well. So, in fact, the same logic can be applied to Halo, specifically Halo Infinite's multiplayer, which is split off from the campaign into a standalone free to play offering. While it may have launched somewhat poorly, the multiplayer has been transformed over the last few years to be quite excellent. And though, sadly, not enough people are playing it. And if you also think about the factor of how these games make money, games like Halo, they make money at this point, like Halo Infinite, from live service battle passes and microtransactions. It's also a free-to-play game, but at the same time, it is a big thing. So the flagship Xbox game is currently the 24th most played game on the console, and as well only 7,000 people on Steam. So the idea that bringing Halo Infinite multiplayer, which is free, to PlayStation would expand the player base and would also make it healthier. And this is Microsoft's logic. Same thing with Call of Duty. They don't mind putting Call of Duty on PlayStation because it can maintain the player base, grow the social media, YouTube videos, tweets, TikToks, Facebook posts, whatever, and as well also they're getting money off the microtransactions. So Halo coming to this actually might be a big and questionable thing. And as well, it also would be a big symbol because this also would be a big push towards Microsoft Microsoft kind of opening up their arms for the gaming universe. They're like, hey, like we can go and put any game we want on any platform we want. I, like we'll be the big daddy. Like we'll watch over the industry. Just put Game Pass on your things. We'll make sure it's good. Now, big consoles such as PlayStation or big consoles such as like Nintendo Switch may not want that. Like they may be like, no, we'll try to go and figure out our own path and make our own design. But at the same time, it. I think for consumers, I think we would want that. Like, I don't really mind if PlayStation or Nintendo make more money or they have, like, specific things. I wouldn't mind just having one centralized console or PC that I can just put all my stuff on there. I talk about that all the time on the channel. So it's intriguing to go and see this nonetheless. I don't know. Do you guys even think this would ever even happen? Because in all honesty, I could see it. Maybe for other places like Switch or, like, PS5. No. I don't think so. But I think for Xbox, I think they would like it. They would incentivize and want to push for it because they make cool games or have cool, like, you know, lore behind their games. But if people aren't playing it, they want, well, people to go play the games as a whole. And I think that's an intriguing thing nonetheless. There's also kind of rumors, though, for the games. But either way, intriguing to see. Last but not least, there is going to be now a confirmed developer uh, direct on January 18th, which will be now featuring other various games such as Indiana Jones. So there will be a brand new showcase as of January 18th. This rumor has been confirmed. Tune in on the 12 p.m., uh, so 3 p.m. EST or a little bit later on at night for the UK folks if you guys want to go check this on out. I may go and stream it on Twitch, not 100% sure, but at the same exact time it's intriguing to go and see nonetheless where Microsoft is going to be back to as well with what's to come in 2024. This also heated up a lot of the rumors for a PlayStation uh, event too as well. Saying they have their next Xbox developer direct in January 18th, most like last year's too as well. So they want to have things like the Indiana Jones game. On top of that too with also 10 more minutes of gameplay and developer insight. So Indiana Jones will be exclusive to Xbox and PC, according to testimonies during this one for the FTC as well. There's also be some updates too, probably for Hellblade 2, 
A lot of folks are excited for Avowed, myself included, and Aura, History Untold, I'm Indifferent On, and also some other news maybe for the brand new Microsoft Flight Sim, maybe things like Towerborn, and as well maybe some other looks finally at Fable and other various games. But either way, a lot of really cool news going on over here for Xbox. I love seeing this. I love seeing updates and brand new games. Make sure you guys are following all the social medias down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. And I do want to say I appreciate you all so much for watching. You're in the first place. Have a good rest of your nights.